In today's video, we're checking out this. It's the Celestron StarSense Auto Align. Okay, so I'm kind of excited about this uh, video and getting things set up. So I've been thinking about getting some form of auto camera alignment thing for my telescope for a while and just happened to be looking around the Amazon warehouse and I saw the Celestron StarSense auto align for about £40 off, I think it was, normal price. So not massive saving, but saving is a saving. So I picked it up from the Amazon warehouse and got delivered yesterday. So just gonna kind of take it out, see what's uh, inside the box, and then we'll look at setting it up and hopefully show you how it works. So hopefully it'll be of interest to you if you think about buying one. Uh, I printed off um, the manual from the website so I can kind of read and understand how things work. This is what we get when you buy it from the Amazon warehouse, a so non-official boxing. Just, uh, move that over here. Let me get this, basically. So uh, let's just pop this out. Move that box out of the way. Right, so what we have in here is a few things. So the StarSense Auto Align camera itself, got a little obviously, dust cover over the lens. Uh, it comes already kind of pre-installed on this large amount um, and it has got a small amount in there as well. If you want to fit that, you have to basically remove cover over the lens here. It's nice and chunky and feels well built though. Massive thread on this thing. Okay, so you need to remove this, this little kind of washer, undo the Allen key bolt to remove this and slide it back and then put on the smaller mount. So depending on what uh, telescope you're putting this on, we'll basically decide if you can use the, the large amount that comes with, with a standard or if you need to kind of swap things out for the small amount for your telescope. That information is um, in the manual as well. It's all pretty straightforward. Let's put this back up. There we go. So I have a Celestron Nexstar 6 SE. I know I can kind of just keep it with this large amount on. So just pop that over there. It's going to be a bit top heavy. Oh, I should say on the back, we have um, micro USB. No, mini USB cable, sorry, uh, for kind of power and connectivity and an aux connector here. So you obviously do need an auxiliary connector on your telescope to use this. Uh, and some of the telescopes only have one like mine, so you have to get an aux splitter. This is um, the mount that you use to connect to your telescope and then this uh, the star sensor well slides onto that. Aux cable. Uh, oh, that's definitely the aux cable. That's an uh, aux cable with a, looks like a two and a half mil jack connector on the end. I'm not sure what that's used for. Then we have an upgraded um, version of the next star controller to work with uh, the star sense um, auto align. So I'm pretty sure you can't keep um, the standard. Um, controller that you have on your telescope, you need to pop this one on. And then finally, the um, the smaller connector, again, for the smaller telescope. So that's how things look. Um, again, I've not set this up before, so I'm gonna go through the process and then talk you through it and hopefully see how it works. Last night, it was very cloudy, so I couldn't do anything with it, but I'm hoping that um, tonight things might be better. Also gonna look at upgrading the firmware as well. So I've got another video on my channel about how you update the firmware on your Celestron camera. So I'm not gonna cover that here because the process is pretty much the same. Um, there's a diagram that comes with the Celestron updating software and it tells you basically how to have your um, Celestron uh, StarSense auto align connected to your telescope at the same time to make sure all things can be updated. So I will do that before we try and use this in anger. I should just note the only thing that's actually missing from this kit as far as I can tell is an Allen key 
Okay, so let's talk about getting the uh, camera set up onto the telescope itself. So on my Nexstar 6SE, I've removed already, uh, in a previous video where I've mentioned, I moved to the Telrad uh, red dot finder. So I've removed the kind of simple red dot scope that was already on there, but I just mount the large bracket onto the two existing screws there. So simply unscrew it, screw this on, and then undo the thumb screws on the camera itself and simply slide that on. It goes on super smoothly, nothing too much to worry about there. Then you need to connect the aux cable from the back of the camera into the telescope. So again, I think as I mentioned earlier, you either connect that directly into the aux socket. And if you're just using the StarSense auto line on its own, then you should be fine. However, if you have got other kind of modules like I have the Sky Portal Wi-Fi module, so I'm gonna use the aux splitter to plug that in separately. Now you need to go ahead and swap out the, uh, the handheld controller. It is quite fiddly, it's very difficult. That little RJ11 socket inside the camera is very fiddly to get at. Um, so just use a torch and I use a very kind of thin screwdriver to be able to unplug that. Now, just gonna stop the video for a second and we will resume later. I was gonna redo this video, but I thought it'd be helpful to anyone watching it in case you find yourself in a similar situation. So as I mentioned, I bought this um, second hand from Amazon Warehouse. And when I unboxed and uh, was going to install the, the handheld controller, and I looked at my existing controller, they both looked uh, identical. They both say Nexstar on it. The serial number was a little bit different, How, but um, the only other difference was in the cables, this little kind of resistor thing. Uh, not quite sure again what, it, what it's there for. Um, but it should stay, uh, should say StarSense on it. So I spoke to Celestron, they confirmed it should say StarSense on it, but maybe, very unlikely, but maybe it just been mislabeled. So if I plugged it in and uh, turned the telescope on, it should come up to say it wants to do a star uh, sense uh, align, and it doesn't. So I'm just going to process now, trying to get it sent back to Amazon for a refund, and I'm just going to buy one full price uh, from my usual uh, astronomy store. So we'll pick this video up in however many days it takes me to get um, the right kit delivered. Okay, I'm back. So I returned the other one to Amazon and got a refund. Picked this one up from a place called Bristol Camera. Never bought from them before, but the price was good and it came in two days, which is pretty cool, especially with the old uh, COVID-19 stuff going on. So I'll very quickly uh, look at this one. So. This is what it looks like when you buy it in the proper box as opposed to the, uh, the dodgy second hand one that I got that wasn't so great. Uh, we get a little bit of a get started fast bit of literature from Celestron there and a manual, much better than my uh, dodgy A4 printout. Inside you've got a lovely protective bag, the Star Sense Auto Align camera. We have Allen key with a couple of uh, hex bolts and thumb screws in there. We have the uh, different size um, mount for the uh, smaller size camera. And RJ11 cable comes and then this is the bit that we were missing yes it says star sense on it so it is the right one so we're full up again um, I'll go down to the telescope get this stuff plugged in and reinstalled and then when the weather's better we can have a go at using this and make sure it works works well so excited about that it's currently absolutely lashing it down um, so we'll, I've got the um, telescope in my workshop at the moment. I'll take this in there, uh, get it all kind of reinstalled and full up showing you how to get this bit connected. Um, I think I started to show that on the video earlier. Um, turn it all on and then when the skies are clear and we can see some stars, we'll try and do uh, an auto align and see if this uh, kind of, I think it's semi-expensive product, um, does what we're looking for. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see me okay. It's freezing cold um, and I'm outside tonight, but the skies are pretty clear. It's still quite early, so not really dark, but enough that we should be able to set up 
um, the Star Sense system. So, as you saw already, I've got the Star Sense camera on over the other side with the lens cap off, and now we have to do our first ever alignment. So, what we have to do is align this to a star, and then have to calibrate a little bit to make sure it's kind of all kind of on point. But like what you do with your red dot finder, um, and we're going to do that now, and then uh, kind of reset everything and we should be good to go and see here's just what we're hoping for see if we can get a couple of decent -ish pictures tonight just to prove that it's working properly and we can slew to the right places automatically Okay, so what's just happened is I've identified Arcturus um, star up in the sky and I've selected the star sets to automatically find that. It's gone in that rough direction. So now I just need to kind of slew it a little bit to make sure it's um, really well dialed in in the middle of the eyepiece and then the alignment should all be calibrated. So I'm just gonna do that now and then uh, see what happens. Okay, so everything is now kind of set up and the Star Sense Auto Line is doing its job properly. Um, I've connected my old um, Canon D650, I think it is, uh, which I normally use with the telescope. Uh, I haven't got a lens on it, so it's just directly connected into the telescope, so things are gonna be quite zoomed in. Um, so I'm gonna now ask the, the telescope to slew round from its current uh, position where it's looking at um, Arcturus. And you're going to see that then move all the way around from Arcturus. And you see it's on the side of the screen. Slew automatically around to the moon, just to give a, a very obvious example of the fact that this is working. So, just go back here. And we go 
server system and the moon and enter so we should see this now align itself with the moon and we'll see that hopefully pop up on the screen This is amazing, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> Straight there in the viewfinder. So I am gonna spend a bit more time tonight messing around with it um, and put some uh, different lenses on to try and get you know, some better images. I may also just tweak the calibration a little bit as well because what they recommend is actually putting in um, you know, different eyepieces so that you can kind of center things a little bit better. So, uh, but yeah, the only thing that's a bit weird is the, the direction it decides to go to get to its location. It seems to take the long way around, but it does it. And uh, yeah, this just makes astronomy so much easier, especially if you're kind of new to it like me. But yeah, um, hope this video was kind of informative. Um, please leave some comments down below if you've got any questions. Perhaps I can do a follow-up if uh, I haven't done a very good job here. I'm just kind of sharing with you my initial experiences and uh, yeah. As it gets darker, I'm hoping to see a few more, and if I get any good pictures, I will put them um, in the end of this video. Thanks for watching this video. A thumbs up would be really appreciated. If you're interested in other geek type videos, please consider subscribing to Spectrum Geeks. Why not also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter. And before you leave, why don't you check out one of these other videos that may be of interest. Thanks again for watching.